that we met. It felt like it yeah. that kind of After watching the film, how uh, you set up the game, you were pretty pleased with your performance, and that still holds. You were pretty happy with how you played. Yeah, um, I'm happy with the way I played. I'm happy with the way our, our team played, and um, as a unit, as an offensive unit, how we played and, and uh, executed, especially in the first half. Uh, we, we definitely have some things that we can get better on, and uh, we'll, we'll focus on those going into Houston. And uh, but overall, I'm, I'm I'm happy with the way we played, and, and ultimately uh, us getting the win. Jason, how how has change of pace affected you, and, and maybe benefited the offense? Where the mantra was "go hard, go fast," and we, you still go hard, but not quite as fast. Um, yeah, I, I don't know as f the stats as far as how fast we were going when we first started the season and, and to where we are now, but. Um, I, I just feel like everybody's starting to get more comfortable with uh, the motive and uh, the game is starting to slow down uh, for me and, and for the guys around me and receivers are getting set. They know what routes they have on, on uh, each play and uh, it, it's shown on Saturday nights. Are you noticing improvement in the offensive line from game one now through game six? Yeah, for sure. Our, our offensive line has progressively gotten better from week to week. And uh, you know they're getting a lot of things thrown at them from from Utah State, where they're giving us a lot of different looks to uh, Georgia Tech last week, giving us an odd and, and even fronts, and uh, the way they change their fronts up. So they're, they're uh, coming along really nice. I'm I'm uh, proud and, and pleased of those guys. It's been since week one that you guys have actually left the state. Are you guys looking forward to uh, to the, the challenge of heading out on the road like this? Yeah, I, I love going into to hostile environments. I don't know how hostile uh, Houston will be. But uh, it, it's a fun atmosphere that you can go play on the road. But uh, with that being said, I, I love our stadium. I, I love uh, playing at home. So uh, it, it's good to mix it in, and, and uh, it's an atmosphere that I look forward to. Is there any added excitement that you're going to be able to play in an NFL venue? Yeah, for sure. We were talking about that today. And uh, it'll be a fun atmosphere. I'm, I'm excited to be in the stadium and uh, get a feel for that. Cody is one catch away from being the all-time completions um, leader here at BYU. Do you do – you Try and look for him early to get that out of the way for him, or do you just do it throughout the course of the game? Um, I, I'm not going to try to do anything outside myself, so I'm going to stick to my reads. I'm going to stick to my progression, and um, but we have a lot of plays drawn up for Cody, and so uh, you know he, he's going to break that easily. And uh, you know I'm, I'm happy to be here with him to to see that happen. That that long touchdown pass you threw to him. Could you walk through where you, were you happy with where you put that ball and everything for him? It seemed like that was the one spot where only your guy could get it. Yeah, uh, of course I'm happy with, with where I put the football. It ended up as a touchdown, and um, uh, the reason I threw him a little further up the field is uh, we, we had a safety there that, that bit on the, the inside post, and I wanted to keep him away from it. So um, it, it ended in a touchdown. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. You had a new center snapping the other night. Most of the snaps were good. There were a few that were uh, a good challenge. Uh, how's that impacted you? Is that, is that a factor at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it does. Um, you know, you think about getting a snap and it's low, and you're trying to, to get the ball, get your eyes up downfield so you can go through your reads and your progression. So it, it throws timing off a little bit, and it, it's like you're a split second uh, behind on your progression. So uh, that was something that I had to adjust to on, on a few plays and something that will work to clean up going into Houston. Okay. You're halfway through the season. What are you looking forward to the most, and where are you looking to improve? Um, looking at our schedule, we have a lot of really big games games coming up. Uh, it's something that we didn't really have uh, to look forward to last year. And uh, so we still have um, a lot of games left to be played, and uh, we can still make a lot of attention on the national level. And I'm, I'm looking forward to traveling and, and going and playing in uh, some, some tough venues and uh, proving ourselves and, and uh, continue to get better as a team. Adam Dean is the fourth leading kickoff returner in the, in the nation, and, and the team overall is 10. What, what difference does it make for the offense? You know you guys got you got guys back there that could break it at any time and put you in a good field position with a nice return like that. Yeah, having a guy like Adam to return kicks is, is huge as an offense, and uh, it's huge as an, an offensive coordinator. I think you, you can open up your playbook, you know, where you, you have some room to play with, and, and we're not worried about you know, the field position battle and everything else. And so uh, that's a huge advantage to us. And, and Adam has done a, a really good job as well as the other 10 guys on the field blocking. So I'm, I'm really pleased with those guys.